Uh, the second spiritual gift that's listed in 1 Corinthians 12 goes along with the word of wisdom, and the Apostle Paul writes it as the word of knowledge or a spoken knowledge. And the word of knowledge is when the Holy Spirit allows you to know something specifically about someone or a situation that you could not have known by any natural means. There's no way. You didn't do a background check on the person. You didn't check their Facebook feed. Like You, you just have supernatural knowledge of something about someone or a situation. John chapter 4 is a great uh, practical example where Jesus is at. Uh, he's in Samaria, and he's sitting in a well, and a Samaritan woman who culturally would have been an enemy to the people of a Jewish faith in Israel, um, she comes, she sits with him, and they have this exchange, and and he tells her, essentially, I have living water for you. You'll never thirst again. People who drink from this well are always thirsty, but the one who drinks of the water I give, they'll never thirst again. She says, I want that water. And he said, well, go get your husband and bring him back, and I'll give it to you. And she said, well, I don't have a husband. And he has a word of knowledge. He says, you're right. You haven't had a husband. In fact, you've had five husbands. And now you're sleeping with someone and living with someone that is not your husband. You're not in covenant with them. And this woman goes, sir, you're obviously a prophet because <laughs> there's no way he would have known that. He did not live in Samaria. He did not have access to the internet. He couldn't Google her. Um, he hadn't talked to anybody else. They had just got into town and he sat at that well and that woman showed up. What is that? That's a word of knowledge. I experienced this one time and it was incredible. I've experienced this several times, but one really stands out for me. We had someone who was a first time guest to Revive Church and they showed up on one of our special Wednesday evening services. We were doing quarterly uh, services on a Wednesday night. She showed up and at the end, I really felt led to pray for people. And she was there with a couple of friends and it was her first time. So I go up, begin to pray for her. And I paused because I really believed the Lord wanted me to have a specific word for her, something to give her, to encourage her. And he began to give me this word of knowledge. And I began to speak out situations that she had dealt with and with such specificity that she told me later, there is no way you could have known that. And I said, there is not a way. You're right. It was not me. It was the Lord. And he wanted you to know that he saw what you walked through. He still loves you. He still has a plan and purpose for you. And it was a freeing moment for her because she had felt like God had not seen what she had been struggling with and what she had walked through. But because the word of knowledge came out of my mouth, because the Holy Spirit chose that moment to share something with her very specifically that I could not have known on my own, it allowed her to walk into a place where she could become free from that past experience. And so in that moment, there's a healing process taking place. Why? Because of a word of knowledge. And so listen, for those moments where he impresses knowledge into your heart for someone, because this could really be the beginning of their own relationship with God. So I want to encourage you, again, don't shrink back share this. And you might be asking the question, well, Stephen, how do I know it's right or wrong? I'm going to say it this way, and it, you might not like this. It's a little uncomfortable. You have to take some risks of faith. You have to try it out and test the voices, test that spirit that you believe you're hearing. It doesn't mean you'll always be 100% accurate. It does mean you might, you're human. You mess up. You may have interpreted incorrectly. You may misspeak in the moment, but you have to trust that the Lord knows what he's doing and that he can correct any error you make. Take it from somebody who's been there and done that. But the longer that you go being obedient to the Holy Spirit's voice, the closer you become to him, the more you know his voice, and the more impactful you are when he gives you this gift, the word of knowledge.